welcome back. I thought I would do a Costco haul for you today. Now, Costco is only about five to 10 minutes away from my house. Sometimes that's a bad thing. But let's show you what I got today. I think some of the things are starting to go down, but others are still going up. It's kind of frustrating the prices today. So first of all, I got five dozen eggs. You know, six months ago, I could have got those eggs for about $6.50 a dozen. They are $11.99 a dozen now, which is kind of crazy to me. But then I had to buy a new food saver. I had a food saver I've only had for a couple of years. And um, someone said, let's take that back. I don't feel good about that. I think if you've had something for over six months to a year, I mean, unless it's less tr electronic, but uh, the food saver that I bought those few years ago was 80 bucks. And that's what this one was. To, actually, this one was 75. It's 99, but then it had a $25 um, rebate on it. So it was only 75. And But the little um, jar sealer broke on my last one. So I'll just put that in, in storage and we'll have it to seal bags if something happens to this one, but I needed a new sealer. I bought one off Amazon, just a little handheld one, and it was a piece of junk. So I sent it back and I just went today and bought this. So that was $75. And then the whole milk for two gallons is $6.29. That's really come up as well because you know, six months ago, we could have got two gallons of milk for about $4.50. Um, and then the mini egg rolls, that's just a little treat we have around here. It's easy just to have as a snack. And they were $10.99. And the, my husband loves these ice cream bars. And so I got some of those today, they're $9.99. And then of course I had to get little Toby some play toys. Um, they were on sale. They're $21.99. But we'll probably save those for him for Christmas because my kids love wrapping him presents and he's so cute when he opens the presents. He, he loves to help everybody open the presents and he'll just grab the paper and rip it and it's really cute. Um, the raspberries, I got raspberries down there. They were only $2.89. So that is a great deal. And then I got some Bob's Steel Cut Oats. These are seven pounds and they were only $11.99. They're quick cooking. So I love steel cut oats. They don't really spike your blood sugar levels as much. So and then I got a minute rice to replace the one that we used out of storage. And that's $6.39. Then I got some baby back ribs. Um, they're $2.99 a pound. So that was $27.12. I'm gonna cook those tomorrow on the Traeger. And we got, they call this pork belly. Now, when I was growing up and a kid on the farm, we called that fresh side pork. I mean, it's still pork, pork belly, but uh, we used it as bacon. And if you don't season it, it's just nasty. But my mom used to put um, garlic and onion salt on it and pepper and season salt. And it is actually my favorite bacon in the whole world. Now the guy at the checkout asked how we use pork belly and I kind of went, I didn't get any pork belly, but apparently that's what that's called. And I told him we use it as bacon and he said his brother takes it and puts barbecue sauce on it. And it's like having the, the spare ribs with no bones. So tonight we're gonna give that a try and I'll film a little video and we'll show you how and if we like it that way. Um, got some Mexican cheese blend. That stuff has gone up as well. Um, two pack was $14.69. Oh, the pork belly was $19.61. And then butter, that is freaking crazy too. You know, six to eight months ago, I could buy that for seven bucks. It's doubled. It's uh, $14.29. Have these prices doubled in your areas? Let me know how much things cost um, in your area. And then I did get some organic celery because I need to put that with the rest of my tomato soup that I'm making. It was $4.99. And I don't usually buy maple syrup. I make my own syrup. It's so much cheaper and it's super easy and my kids just don't like store-bought syrup. We never have made it. Um, we never have bought it, sorry. But this stuff is delicious and I like having this on hand. You know, if you ever need it for a quick 
recipe or if you're just in a hurry and you're making your pumpkin pancakes or you know something like that this is really nice just to break out and have a little bit of it but I usually don't buy um, homemade syrup so that's all I bought any guesses on the grand total um, I also had my friend with me Dixie and she bought I guess I better not say what she bought because it's for a Christmas present so never mind we'll just cut that part out <laughs> so anyway I spent a grand total of two hundred and seventy two dollars Wow even there's that's kind of funny it never happens that way um, yes so two hundred and seventy two dollars it's not too bad I guess but anyway yeah let me know if how much stuff is it you're you know where you're at it's just the prices are just crazy and it's crazy to me that here in Utah we have all these oil refineries and yet our gas is some of the highest in the nation we are still over four dollars a gallon Ugh, things ever gonna get back to normal again guys anyway I've got some other videos planned and I hope you're all having a great day and um, Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and comment. It helps the algorithm of the channel. And if you like these kinds of videos, let me know. If you're like, what the heck are you doing that for? Let me know. But um, anyway, have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one.